Yo, yo, what is up? So in this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and set up saving our um, custom hair color. So we start load, we will have our custom hair color. So yeah, let's just hop into it. All right, so let's hop into our main menu. Then we're gonna go to our blueprints, uh, components, custom character. And in here, I'm gonna collapse this guy. Make sure I have it all selected. I'm gonna collapse this guy to a function called set hair. Pull this guy up. Oh, whoops. Looks like I forgot one. We want all of this as well. Alright, so collapse to function set here pull this guy up here all right so we're gonna go ahead and add our variables for saving saving our hair color so we're gonna get hair h value gonna be flute we're gonna get hair uh, hair S value and hair V value. Then we're going to go to our third person blueprints, third person game mode. We need to add this to our save and load system. So save. And we're going to. Oh, actually, yeah, we need to do this on our. Uh, Go to blueprint save game we need to add these variables here as well so hair h value change this to a flute hair s value and hair v value compile save okay so now in our third person game mode, we're going to come from our save system in the save function. We're going to set here H value to our hair H value from our custom components. Plug this guy in. Hook this into the sequence. And then from the save system, we're going to set error S value to be our error S value from the custom component. Hook this guy in. And from the save system, we're going to set hair V value. And then we're going to get hair V value. All right, here. Then compile, save. Now we need to go to our load game function. And we're going to our custom component. We're going to set hair H value. So set hair H value from the save system. So get hair H value. Right here. 
We're gonna get a uh, set here. S value. From the save system, get hair uh, S value. And now we want to set hair V value. From here, we're gonna get hair V value. And plug this guy in. Compile. Save. And now, in our uh, custom component, custom character component, we're going to grab our enum for hair color. I'm going to get this guy. We're going to do a switch on hair color. Plug this guy in up here. And now we're going to go into our blueprints widgets main menu main menu widget go to the graph uh, go to the event graph and let's find our hair somewhere around here hair color right here so in our function update hair selected color we want to add a sequence at the end and we're gonna get our player ref we're gonna get our custom character component We're gonna set hair H. Set hair H value. We're gonna set hair V or S S value. Set hair S value. I wanna set hair V value. Right here, plug all of these in. And we're going to get this info from what we're setting down here. So from the multiply here, this is going to go into the H from the hair saturation slider value. We're going to set S value. And then from the hair V uh, value slider, we're going to set the, the V value right here. Now we just want to grab uh, our set vector parameter value and our HSV to RGB go back to our custom character component paste that in and we'll plug this guy into the set vector parameter value and we're gonna grab our hair H value hair S value and hair V value and put all those in And then compile and save. Uh, let's test that. Make sure we don't have any bugs. Play new game and detailed appearance hair hair color and start game. Uh, we have hair color, but I don't think it saved our H value correctly, did it? Let me test that again. So let's see, detailed appearance, hair, hair color, make it green. Let's test that. Start game. Okay, so it's not saving our H value properly. So let's see why we may have messed that up in the save game, maybe. We are, 
let's just look at what we're doing here. Let's go to the save game. So here we're setting the hair. We set hair V value right here. That's why. So be sure not to mess this up. We want to <clears throat> we want to set <clears throat> hair H hair H value set hair H value from hair H value and plug this guy in let's Check our load game. That should be good. Let's just test that again real quick. <clears throat> so hair. Oops, hair color. And start game. And there we go. Now it's saving properly. Yeah, just be sure not to make mistakes it's, it's easy to make mistakes in that save and load system so but yeah it's working so we're gonna call it here for this one if you like the video hit the like button if you're new around here definitely subscribe if you have any questions let me know those down in the comments and i'll see you in the next one peace out